loud as septic review is doing a walkthrough for King Quest 2 Romancing the Throne on the PC. This is part three of the walkthrough. I just got to the locked door and now I'm leaving. Uh, so, we got a hint as to what we do next from the door inscription in the last part of the walkthrough. Uh, something about making a splash. Probably something to do with water, maybe. Well, I'm going to show you. Let's head over to the beach. All right. The hag is sometimes in the area here. Just for the warning. And my fairy spell just ran out. Yikes. So, after you read the door, so I appears after you read the inscription on the door, I do believe. Uh, we encounter a character here at the beach. But we'll do that in a minute after I'm done picking up this item off the ground. This random item laying here. Stopped. So, right, yeah. Uh, I like the land of Kalima, I do believe it's called. It's nice. It's a lot more interesting than Davin trees. Miles and miles of boring fields and shit. Yeah, see this random boring clamshell? Let's pick up the random boring clamshell and see what's... Oh, there's jewelry underneath it. Wow. We're going to be rich by the time this adventure's over. King Grand's probably already rich to begin with, since he's the king, maybe. I don't know. Yes, uh, the mermaid only appears after you read the inscription on the door. The mermaid theme here is really awesome. Uh, the audio isn't working though, so uh, you can't hear in this video. Sorry, you're playing the game now. You can you can hear the audio. It's really good though. The song here, four eight bit music. Yes, remember those that uh, bouquet we picked up a while back from Laura Ryanhood? Oh, this is where we're using it. Nice. So yeah, how cool! We can go under the ocean now. So yeah, this part's really awesome, actually, because there's this screen after screen of uh, scenery and stuff. It's pretty good. Kind of impressive, actually, for an 8-bit game. Okay. What's this guy all about? Let's see if I can get my guy to stand still so I can actually talk to him. Actually, don't bother talking to him. He doesn't even speak English, so... Just give him the trident and leave. Well, make sure you take the key first. Then leave after that. Hey, I wonder if this goes to the door. Um... Epic underwater scenery again. You cannot control uh, the seahorse when in these parts. So, just when you're in the king's area, it's the only time where you can control the seahorse. So you can't like explore the sea or whatever. I'm gonna save again. To the door! Yay! Oh yay! Our quest is finally over. Finally going for the door, yay. Wow, this was one quick game. 
Happy, happy day. We're going through the door. Yay. Saying goodbye to Land of Kaliba. Yay, yay, yay. Happy, happy, happy. Uh, right. It's me walking. I don't really know what else to say. It's just me walking. It's like a scene from The Lord of the Rings. Miles and miles of fields with nothingness. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, good. Protect a spell. Yes, whenever that fairy comes to you, you get the protect a spell, which is very useful. Protects you from all those annoying random guys that will try to kill you on the over, out in the overworld. It's a very useful thing to have, actually. All right, we're almost to the bridge. Oh, I hate that cliff, uh, the chasm right here, because you walk north up the screen and you're like practically off it. It's really difficult to maneuver around. You just got to make sure you press that upward button real fast. So, yes, the bridge here. You can only cross the bridge seven times. Remember that. If you cross an A more times, then the bridge breaks and you die. So, don't just walk back and forth on the bridge. It's just a bad idea. Okay, good. We're locking the door. Oh, good. Our quest is over. Oh, Oh, wait, what? 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 Uh, guess it was too good to be true, right? Okay, let's read the inscription on this door. Whatever that means, never vague hint as to what you gotta do next. All right, let's go see if we can figure out what we need to do. I think I need to go visit the hag if I remember. I may have to do something else before that. I don't know. I'm doing the commentary after I'm after the video, so and it was a while back when I did this video, so hardly even remember it really. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, walking through fields. Uh, nothing else. Me doing absolutely nothing, trying to figure out what to do next. I usually uh, take notes and stuff. I play the game prior to the walkthrough. Get 100%, take notes on everything I gotta do. Mm, right, me standing there doing absolutely nothing. For like a whole minute. Okay. I think I know what I gotta do now. I gotta walk through a few screens. It'll probably take like three whole minutes or something. Yeah, uh, I really enjoy exploring the world and stuff in this game. A lot more than I did the first game. I mean, the first game it was fun, but I don't know. In this game, it's just there's so much more places and stuff. It's not just all grassy fields and stuff. There's actually places of importance and stuff, and every place looks different and stuff. It's really cool. So, yeah, if the hag is in here, don't worry too much. She is deaf. Uh, sorry, I meant she's definitely not deaf, she's blind. So you can just walk out in front of her and she doesn't do anything, just don't make any noise and stuff. I'll talk to her, no rewards.